I'm Richard Lewis reporting for CadRed.org. I'm here with two members of CK RAS, Disturbed and Nash J. They've got a finished derby to look forward to coming up in their next game, so we're going to talk to them a little bit about that now. Uh, first things first, you're playing Exelon again. You must be getting sick of the sight of them. Yeah, it, it's really hard to play against Exelon because they're good guys and sometimes um, they know just exa exactly how we play and um, they're really talented, so you never know what happens when you play another Finnish team. They said they were sort of pissed off at like having to come over to these lands and they always seem to play Finnish teams whenever they go to a land. Um, and they didn't want to play Finnish teams here because they wanted to play against some other teams in a land setting to see how they would do. Um, I mean, when you come up against uh, people from the same country, I mean, are you kind of thinking this is a bit boring because we play them all the time? Yeah, because there's like two weeks of from assembly winter, yeah. So they knew to know our strats. Mm. So it's kind of boring to play against Finnish teams because <laughs> they can unstrike us. What about um, kind of uh, you know the fact that you you play them so often domestically as well? I mean, you know, I guess you you practice quite a lot against them because of the you know the ping difference and the fact that you're all good friends. I mean, do you get any benefit from those kind of games, or are you trying to hide tactics from each other because you know you'll probably be playing each other uh, at a LAN in three months? Well, we really don't practice against each other. We try to avoid it as much as possible because just because of that, because we are always trying to figure out something new strats, and we don't really want to give the them the information what we are most likely going to do so because it always goes like that we have to play them and in many officials so we really don't want to give any info for them what happened at assembly uh, you guys were favorites uh, you're seated quite high in our top 10 rankings uh exelon aren't <laughs> and yet they managed to to beat you and it's not the first time they've beaten you in a finnish land can you explain how they managed to do it? They just played well. Yeah. Don't know anything more than. Yeah. Maybe some. It was um, because this 30 p land was coming in two weeks. Maybe it, it had a little influence. We didn't want to give out the information yet again to our opponents because yeah. they're so TV demos. But um, Exelon is a great team. I really see them going far in like in a year. They can be one of the best teams in Europe. So I raised my hat for them. They played really well at Assembly and uh, they deserve the win. What about the other teams here? Like LDLC seem to have these big reputations. You guys just blew them away when you played them. They, they didn't really look in the game at, at times. Um, do, do you think maybe that, uh, you know, there's a lot of teams here with big reputations, but not, you know, able to back them up? That's for both of you. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least I think MTW is kind of overrated because they just changed it, change it hump and yeah. release. So I don't think they can manage to win this land. Well, I always, I am always thinking that LDLC is a good team and all the French guys are very, very talented. And with a good mood, they can do a very bad damage to any team. What about you guys? Like, you've never finished outside of the top three. Uh, any land you've attended, that record still stands. Um, yet you don't seem to get a lot of respect. A lot of people seem to think that you're just sort of a team of noobs that uh, have got lucky a few times, uh, you know. But you're, you know, in a good position at this event, you know, once again. Why do you think people don't rate you but seem to rate other teams? Like, for example, Exelon being seeded above you. Angel Dust. <laughs> is that is that is, is that it? One word answer. It's all you has fault. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's it's like I'm, um, uh, we have angel dust. Everything on our team is focused on angel dust. Every single Counter Strike source player and fanboy mm. knows angel dust, and um, nobody knows me really. No one comes ever ask me about my CFGs or which resolution <laughs> do I play with. And same is with Conan. He's like he's by far the best player in Europe at the moment. He's so so wise yeah. and everything, and I, I really think that the reason is Angel. That's why. Well, it's interesting because I'll talk a little bit about Yuha. Like he had a reputation like for being sort of a 
an online player, he'll hate me for bringing it up. And, and we're, we're good friends. You know, I go way back, even when he was all through his national service. He even gave me his Finnish Navy T-shirt, which I, I brought. I left it in the hotel. But, uh, you know, it, he does seem to be a little inconsistent at times. At some lands, he either is brilliant or he seems to be sort of not so good. I mean, do you think maybe he's under more pressure to perform than you guys and that affects his game? Well, in my opinion, you had us some um, great job at every tournament. He's he has we have a stretch, we have a game book we play for, and um, he he doesn't have the the position on the stretch to do some damage. To the, he really does the silent work for mm. us. He throws a good flashes and covers us. And uh, but um, at this land, he has played great and took some great frags. I can see him being nominated for the. MVP list, that's for sure. And he's pretty passive, mm. or personal. That's the reason why. Yeah, he he's quite a passive personality as well, which I think sort of probably doesn't help. A lot of the people that seem to get a lot of attention are quite aggressive, you know, and they uh, they're always active on forums talking about themselves or doing lots of interviews and bigging themselves up. He's quite a quiet guy. Um, maybe that's what another reason why people sort of you know kind of underestimate some of the members of the team you know i mean i'd say you're all a bit like that really you seem like pretty quiet guys most of the time yeah it's a <laughs> most of the finnish guys are really quiet no that's not <laughs> true at all I, i was drinking with a finnish guy last night he wasn't quiet he, and he was big man <laughs> national service jesus it yeah. uh it makes you big guys but uh yeah what about uh the other teams around you like i, I know there's like the uk teams that have come here like Epsilon and, and uh, Rasta. The UK seems to be having a good sort of resurgence, I, I would say right now, and they've got a strong showing at this line. Um, you know, is there any, do you have any thoughts about maybe those two teams? At least Rasta is so good with Weber, hitting his every shot and with the op. So I can see them going far in this tournament. Well, you had that game with them, didn't you? That was still being played at 3-4 this morning. I missed the end of it. I fell asleep. I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't that it wasn't exciting. It was exciting. I was just really, really tired. <laughs> I'd been up all day. But, I mean, what what happened there? That was uh, an epic game. I mean, do you feel, like, proud to have uh, to have won it? Or, I mean, you know, was it, are you a little bit disappointed that it was so difficult? Well, I'm, I'm very proud we won it because um, that team Rasta showed up to be a very good team and especially Weber. He was insane. Um, it was at least nine rounds. He won one on three or one on two situation, and um, uh, <laughs> that that was really sick. I, I'm I'm speechless for it. But yeah, <laughs> Rasta is a great team. But I, I haven't seen any epsilon games or I haven't practiced against them. But all I know that Lasse is a great guy and um, he can carry them far. The final question I want to ask is: You guys have had a lot of second places a lot of third places, and you have had some firsts as well, um, all respectable finishes. But do you think you need to win a European LAN to really cement you as being a great team? Because you've been together for a long time now, you've had all these podium finishes, but you've been unlucky, you had the finals at DS Rack uh, too. Um, you know, is it time to sort of step up and get that big win, or Are you sort of happy placing third, second? Do you think that's something that should be given a bit more respect by the scene? Yeah, of course. Well, I play this game for fun and for me it is okay to come second, but it would be always great to win a tournament that gets you up. But um, I think it's because I really play this game to get to travel a lot and I think it's um, important. <laughs> No problems. <laughs> That's all right. That's just Vakar. I'm interrupting the interview. Don't worry. It's this typical sabotage tactics from the French. I'm not even going to edit that out. I want you to know what I've had to work with this land. A room full of French people, right? And they just, they've just they just ruined everything. So, have you, I hope, you know, what's sorry in, in French? Uh, yeah, there, there we are, right? Yeah, I got them told. Huh? Anyway, sorry, do, do continue. You, say, you were saying how you wanted to uh, travel the world by playing Counter-Strike Source. Yeah, and... And that guy Chris over there, our manager and um, owner of Crass, makes it possible. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, I'm mind fucked. <laughs> the French strike again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the French guys again. But um, uh, it's more more important to look good for the camera and be a positive guy to all the players here. Go shake their hands. Oh hi again. We meet again at the international event. That's cool. And um, and if you 
play a role for a good guy, then the med media likes you, and uh, that's important for Cross because um, I don't think that they ain't going to benefit that much if we win a tournament. I think they benefit more if we are good guys and everybody knows that we are good guys and that's good guys and those are Cross, so Cross gets the benefit from us being good guys. So I will wrap it up now, but I, I want to ask both of you just one last question. Let's imagine you're not competing in the tournament. Um, you know, you guys are just here as spectators. Uh, so you guys can't win it. If that was the case, who would you like to see win? I think Exelon or Menace. Just Menace has five young and sick gamers. Doing very well against MTW yep. right now, yeah. as it happens. And they deserve to win and get the reputation and the support to come international lands once more, mm -hmm. at least. Menace for me too. Yeah. They're just great, great players. So young. I really hope they develop a lot. They're going to be a sick team someday. Well, that's great. Well, thanks very much for stepping up and doing the interviews instead of Angel Dust this time. <laughs> I, I hopefully it'll raise your profile a bit and people will start bothering you for the configs and whatnot. And uh, to all of you out there at uh, please do stay tuned to the video content provided Vacam don't sabotage us again. Uh, we're going to have lots of stuff coming your way over the course of the uh, evening here from 30p land.